Nowadays, still many sickness kill people, kill millions, uh, over 18 millions a year, different disease, because some of us also do not take precaution to uh, guard our precious body, which is given by God, to do some mission on earth for some purpose, also to realize our almighty power. Something like uh, we smoke too much, <laughs> we drink too much, we eat too much flesh and invite all these uh, bacteria from the flesh into our system, etc., etc. All these uh, killing factors make our life a miserable, uh, miserable time. Actually, we could live a better life if, if we organize more, if we appreciate our body more. We eat just nutritious food, nutritious food for our body, and not eat because of of the uh, taste, and eat just a reasonable amount. Then, uh, then of course our our health will not be so much in danger. You see, most of the vegetarian people they become healthier. Is that not so? Yes. Yeah. Many of you became healthier after taking initiation and switch on to vegetarian diet. Is that not so? Yes. Actually, the hospital is full of meat-eating people. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> we can see the proof there. Uh, not, not because uh, the vegetarian are healthy in itself only, but because the vibration is very harmonious to our body, uh, whereby the vibration of the animals are not that uh, harmonious, not so peaceful. Actually, it is very easy, not difficult, to live a simple and healthy life. Eh? There's no need so much uh, for medicine, uh, no need so much injections. Many of us uh, harm ourselves because we bring a uh, poisonous substance into our body. Eh? Otherwise, if we know how to live a simple, nutritious, healthy life, we really don't need doctors so much, and the doctor can have more holidays and both of us are staying healthy. You don't worry about how work, yeah? You should work and spend your energy because in our body there are about seven chakras who can draw in the energy from the universe, yeah? They're just like a, a battery, you know, automatically charged by the universal power. That's why we can run our machine all the time. And when we meditate, this power is even in more abundance so. So the more we give, the more it comes in. It will never stop. So we don't worry. Don't worry about karma and helping people or taking karma and all that. If people need help, you help. You know what I mean? It's only when we try to interfere with the, the people's mind, you know what I mean? Like try to control them, yeah? Or try to tell them to do what we want them to do for a selfish purpose. Then, we would create karma. Otherwise, if we like love people and we want to help them in their time of need, even if we truly get karma from them, it doesn't matter. Understand? It doesn't matter at all. Because we, we should sacrifice for each other. Yeah, We should live with each other in love and don't mind the, the karma. Mm. We must keep always positive energy because even if you think positive, even just thinking positive, if you can see your body, you will see uh, each positive thinking will change your pattern of aura, change your outlook, and change your, your, your energy inside. It becomes more overflowing, you know, and healthy. But if you think negative, just think anything negative or bad or miserable, and then your pattern change immediately. Any psychic person can see this. That's why some people can read your mind, because when you come in, they can see your aura, they can see the pattern change in, in, in your, uh, how say, energy counterpart of your body. Energy counterpart is that, um, is a shape of energy which, takes, which looks like the shape of your real organ. For example, your heart, your heart like this, right? Okay? Suppose uh, somebody took your heart away, okay, and that heart place is empty. 
Yeah, but still, it has a shape of a heart in it. Something there. That is the energy counterpart of the heart. You know what I mean? Sometimes this uh, energy counterpart has problems, not the real heart. And then so they have to fix it. So you are the best, the, you are the best doctor for yourself if you think positive. Live a healthy life and simple. You know what I mean? Simple living and high thinking. Always think positive. Even just thinking, change your pattern of living and change your day and change your fortune. So always try to keep being positive. Then uh, a lot of accidents, a lot of illness can be uh, avoided. You know what I mean? It's always around you. Masters uh, from the ten directions always protecting you because it is true. It is true. We are not left alone in this world to do our things ourselves. We are always protected by angels, every of us, and always guided by master spirits, even though we don't see them. Even if you don't believe in angels and spirit, you must believe there is a God who exists. Otherwise, we don't exist. You know what I mean? Okay. Most of the problem are our own making, hmm? because we think negative. We act negative, and we let the negative influence from the people uh, affect us. You know what I mean? Sometimes uh, if you go to see a doctor, they, they will tell you that uh, some of the disease are self-made. Huh? Not because you want the disease uh, only, but because you run down in uh, resistance. For example, like uh, allergy, huh? allergy. Sometimes you never get it. But only when you run down, you are depressed, you are overworked, you are exhausted, then the energy will come. You eat the same food every day, have no energy, but one day you have it. It's because at that time probably your resistance is very low, your, your defense system uh, uh, broke up, broke down or something like that, temporarily. But if you think positively, the disease will also will go back, go, go, go quickly. Hmm? But sometimes because uh, the system, the defense system is so run down already, it's uh, like a broke, broke down, so it's very difficult to fix it. At that time then too bad. Huh? Either we live <laughs> or we die. <laughs> so try to take care of your system and don't let it broke down. Try to take care of your system by acting positive, thinking positive, talking positive. That's very really simple. Even just thinking positive already a tremendous help to you. Actually, when you practice very hard, sometimes you don't feel the body, no? Is that not so? Do you have real experience? Yeah. You feel very light, right? Like you're driving, but not you who drive, but <laughs> somebody else. Uh, no effort, yes. That's how we uh, achieve the effortlessness, you know, of the... Uh, in the physical dimension. And then we can do many things in a lighter way, and we don't feel so exhausted anymore. The more we meditate, the better we feel, and the faster we work, and no problem. Hmm? And you must also try to pass on the, uh, the new for our fellow beings to rescue them from their misery, try to comfort them and bring them the good news that they could be lighter, greater, happier in their life if they practice the age old wisdom, yeah? getting con contact with the kingdom of God within themselves, with the Buddha nature within themselves, then they don't feel so miserable and one out or blocked and feeling lonely in this world. That's the only cure for mankind. Actually, the, it looks like so many disasters are coming to the world, huh? uh, but I don't feel like the world is going to end so quickly. Maybe it will end in some parts. Maybe have a great destruction for different people, you know. But the virtuous people, <coughs> the blameless persons, will be preserved for the next generation. And with the help of the positive energy from you during your meditation, during your group gathering, during your silence prayers time, our world is uh, preserved in a greater a degree than uh, we might have hoped for. 
And that's why uh, I hope that you spread more good news to people. Yeah. So uh, one person makes a lot of difference. If you truly believe in your goodness, in what you're doing, you will influence other people. But if you don't believe, they will influence you. So try to make a strong person out of your personality. Whatever you believe is good, stick to it. And don't let other people, as uh, I say, make you waver. Hmm? Because a good example in this world is rare. So make yourself a good example. <laughs> Try your best in everything so that people will, uh, will know that you are, uh, that because you practice, yes, you become better and you really been useful, be useful for society. Hmm? That's how you prove. That's how you help other people. That's how we rescue the world from great destruction that may be coming because of a lot of self-destructive uh, drugs and weapons and the way we live our life and the way we infect each other. You know what I mean? It could be the end of the world. There's no doubt about it. I don't need to see the moon, the sun, or nothing. If we love this planet, we think it's a beautiful place, which it is. It takes a billion, trillions of years to, to make one until it's livable like today, so beautiful like this. So we have to also make contribution. If we can, we fix it. Of course, after all, we try our best and still the end of the world come and let it be. But if we can fix it, we do it, all right? So spread the good news and let people go back to the natural way of life, the righteous way of life. This is being vegetarian, being virtuous, give the precept and live a simple life and positive thinking. And then our world will be no problem. And we will probably live a few more thousand years in a better condition. There are two choices now. One is total destruction. Another is go ahead with progress in all way of life, including spiritual. And the future is in our hands, really. There's no aliens who can do anything about it. There's no God who punish us. There's no Buddha who bless us. It's only ourselves. We have to make a choice because that's how we grow, by making good choice. 